Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So Dokkan, I think, did a, a nice, good thing here in that they gave us several difficult content fights. But what's so big about this is we did get a very, very difficult fight that is structured a little bit differently, right? So you guys have heard me a lot of times throughout the years say it's like almost impossible for them to create a very, very difficult fight where you can debuff because the debuffing abilities, it, it's just so powerful when you're lowering a boss or you're sealing the boss or you're stunning the boss or doing something like that. You really can just lock them down. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fight the Vegito Blue Boss in the Gods and Mortals event. And we're going to rock this team right here. Many of these characters are going to be incredibly effective in here. Every character we have on the team is going to be capable of debuffing the boss. I think we very easily could jump in here and just, like, die, like, very easily. Um, <clears throat> like, if we can... Op no, no, no. Actually, we get... We nope. Psych. <laughs> We actually just got a perfect rotation. Lovely. Golden Freezer. All right, now we've had so many characters drop retroactively. I, I think a couple of the releases do look a little bit better. I think that w when we're evaluating Dokkan characters, I think using this fight um, is is very valid. Like like it's a piece of the puzzle, right? So like, okay, we want to rank. LR Vegito, like the new LR Vegito Blue, like this guy, right? Like the boss we're fighting. We want to rank that character. Well, I think like, okay, like how does he perform in this fight? How does he perform against Omega? How does he perform against Red Zone Samasa, Red Zone Goku Black? Like, I, I think like taking his performance into account across all these fights is important. So characters like Mamba, Baby, uh, these coolers and stuff like that, like they now have a, a, a pretty, you know, significant boss here who they could actually, you know, mess around with. So remember, this Vegito is, like, a damn near the hardest hitting boss in the game, and it's, it's turn one. He can double super while, you know, basically doing 2 million damage per super attack, but he could be debuffed. Now, we have Turles here on rotation. Turles is already hitting him with a passive 20% debuff, Metal Cooler debuffs on super attack, and Golden Frieza debuffs on his 12 key super attack. Um, now, our rotation isn't super good next turn, but Baby could potentially clutch things out for us. Let's just say for whatever reason we take a ton of damage. Um, you know, like fr from Vegito Blue here. Golden Freeze, is he at double digits type advantage with the 90% damage reduction? Let's see. I'm actually not even sure. He might even take... Well, yeah, no, he's definitely at double digits with Turles. Turles is passive debuff. Um, there's several other characters I could have tried to in this run. Um, you know, we definitely could have used um, Mamba. Mamba is a character who could be utilized. Oceana Shenron was, like, you know, just one of the most unimpressive, like, loser characters they've ever released. And I think Oceanus should be able to get some value in here. There's several characters that are going to be able to give us value in this fight who previously might not have had too much value. And I, I think that's a really good thing, right? Oh, we probably could try the... Could the banner unit baby be good in here? We're still taking damage. Oh, actually, are we just dead? Okay. Damn. Okay. He... Oh! Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh, damn. That's sick. Woo! Oh, man. You guys got any thoughts on that? Nah. Nah. Y'all don't. Y'all y'all ain't got no thoughts on that. <laughs> um. Hmm. What do we think? <clears throat> I mean, ugh, damn, th th this is just kind of a tough opener. The friend cooler has a defensive equip, huh? A level seven at that, so we could we could do this. This this would this would be a mistake. I I think that would be a, a bit too big of a gamble. Um, the friend cooler has a defensive equip, so maybe we put him in the last slot. 
the thing is, I mean, this this kid Vegito could be so heavily debuffed by the time we reach the end that maybe we won't need the links. Remember, my baby is built full dodge, so we are we are prepared for this as well. So cooler and baby, uh, baby is actually a character we should talk about right here. So baby lowers attack on both his 12 and 18 key. Remember that baby also gets what is it? Six key, a hundred percent attack and defense, and a forty percent chance to crit against a pure or hybrid Saiyan enemy, right? And remember, this Vegito is a pure Saiyan enemy. Uh, let's get same type orbs. Yeah, just for the little bit of the heal. All right, we're gonna go for this. Um, I mean, we could die. We're we're going for the twelve key on Cooler, by the way, because uh, LR Cooler he lowers attack on his twelve key super attack, right? Um, he, he greatly raises defense for one turn and lowers enemy attack. Now, I think uh, we are probably going to need... Oh my god, the additional. You are a clutch god, aren't you? Yeah, you're pretty clutch. Baby, the god. I mean, Ben, I should have given Baby his own video, dude. Like, we, you know, we're focusing this... Well, Baby is going to show up... The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on Omega Shenron and GT bosses. Give us... Yes, daddy! Yes, daddy! There we go! That's what we need. Because every single one of these Vegito's attack just trickles down and down and down. Come on. I, you have more in you. No, no, no. You could do at least one more. Come on. Uh, I mean, does Vegito... He doesn't do 700k with one super at this point, does he? Oh, no. You have more debuffs, you bitch. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Cooler. Show us. Man, I hear so... That, yes! Yes! Now, remember, this is cooler without links. So, this guy potentially could take a lot of damage from a super. But, again, he had the defensive equip, so I put him at the... I felt like the end was probably more likely to see a super. Um, but I was very nervous about, um... Uh, like, those first two attacks. That, that was kind of scary to me. I didn't really want to put a cooler... Like, we... You know, we ended up with double cooler, right? Cooler is not a character who... Go that one. Wait, he didn't super at all on this turn? Okay. Well, I mean, that just... I mean, you're done, buddy. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, we will do this. No! I am forced to get the 18 key super attack. Golden Frieza raises his own stats on 18 key, and he um, debuffs on his 12 key. That sucks. We are going to get a guaranteed additional with him, but obviously, I'd want the double debuff. Right? The point is, we need to keep this kid just debuffed the whole time through. Now, SDR Cooler... Remember that he gets an additional if the enemy can be debuffed or is debuffed. Yeah, Golden Frieza. Go Golden Frieza is just master class for this type of content here. Uh, we knew. Like, like when this Golden Frieza, like, his details were announced, everyone knew how ridiculous this character was, right? Like, it, it's... <laughs> you can always get value out of an untouchable character on turn one, right? Battlefield, Super Battle Road, EZA. These things will always exist. So this Golden Frieza, this Golden Frieza is going to be good when he gets his EZA still. Uh, now, you, you understand what I mean by good, right? Of course, it's, it's going to be for his start of turn damage reduction and not really anything else. But, like, uh, it, it's like a TUR Golden Frieza. TUR Golden Frieza, the, the one that EZA'd in 2020, he was still good before his EZA. Yup, there we go. Metal Goat Cooler. Awesome. Oh, if you guys are curious... I don't know if that super attack that he dodged would have killed us or not. I actually don't know the answer to that. I, I think there's a chance it might have done almost all of our health. But, I mean, you guys can see that that's certainly, you know, maybe if he had lost a lot of health, it would have been bad. But that dodge did look pretty fire. Uh, my Metal Cooler does have a uh, full Dodgeru build, of course. Um, oh, 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 you know one thing that I actually forgot as well. What does Metal Cooler get? He gets something against Pure Saiyans as well, right? I, that slipped my mind. What What does Metal Cooler get against Pure Saiyans exactly? Isn't it just like key and damage or something? Uh, he gets one key, 20% chance to crit against a super class enemy, one key, and 20% chance to crit against a Pure Saiyan enemy. Okay. I mean, that's not really that crazy, right? Uh, yeah, we just do this. Yeah. Here's where Cooler pisses me off, though. I, I really wish... Cooler is so good with key that you actually can't get his 12 key often right like I, I so many times people have said why did you go for his 12 key uh bruh because this is how the turn starts with cooler man you can, you can never get this guy's 12 key the key is so, like that that's why I, I once saw someone say one thing that always pisses me off is key issues are cool and i said ah, ah, ah no you're caught no 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 buddy you're caught 
No, that's not true. That's not a real thing. You do not have stru key struggles with cooler. Uh, wait, wh what is his build again? Only 21 dodge. Oh, I, I should probably give him a bronze dodge there. Maybe. Yeah, 21 dodge. We could do better than that. But, I mean, hey, it might have clinched us the run. Yeah, this, like, this wasn't even hard. Dude, this <laughs> 20 million for baby? Sure. This wasn't even tough, man. This was, like, very easy. Is this, like, a tough team for people to be able to emulate? Not really. I mean, Final Form Cooler was on... The, it was, he was on the anniversary banners and... <laughs> yeah, dude, sick. Nice super attack, dickhead. <laughs> uh, yeah, th this should be a team that most players could emulate. Because Cooler was on the anniversary banners and the Worldwide Talent Celebration banners, right? So, I mean, yeah, yes, you could be... I know, uh, like... 20 plus people are going to comment and say, I summoned on every banner coolers on thousand stones and didn't get them. Yeah, I apologize, yes. But, I mean, there are tons of other terrifying Conqueror leaders, right? Um, I'm not using Piccolo Jr. He would be fantastic for this. Uh, remember, in slot one, he could 30% debuff the enemy. Um, Captain Ginyu, of course, would be great for this, potentially. Uh, well, I mean, define great. I mean, he'd be good for this. I mean, I don't want to call him great. TUR cooler. Like, the the thing about this team we just came in here and shit on this kid with is that these are not, like, the newest characters ever, right? Like, not even one character is from 2023 on this team. Cooler is the most recent character, Final Form Cooler. He came out in August of 2022, right? Baby came out in 2019. Turles is a 2018 character. Metal Cooler is a 2018 character. TUR Cooler is a 2019 character. And then LR Golden Frieza, of course, is summonable LR from 2022 as well. But, I mean, LR Golden Frieza is very big for this. His impact is huge because he's super defensive, but he also can apply the debuffs. You could use TUR Golden Frieza as well, though. Uh, we just do this? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's zero... Ch Cooler can't get one shot at this point, right? I guess I shouldn't even really be fearful... Metal Cooler certainly cannot get one shot, so we'll do this. Th there's no chance Final Form Cooler does not kill at the end right here. Yeah, this was very... Dude, this was very easy. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but this is good. I, I do not mind them creating this fight. It's so tough, but they gave us a viable strategy. I saw a lot of people saying, oh, it's so fun when you load into the fight and, you know, he double supers you for 2 million damage each. Yeah, I get it. That is annoying for sure. But they gave us a strategy to use here. So that's why, like, I don't think... Like, it's like... I, I would say, like, some of these red zone fights are way more of an issue with that than this. Because they gave us a backdoor against this guy. How much does this do? Still 100. Yeah, I mean, he still hits... He still is doing damage. I mean, you know, I, I'm talking a lot of shit. But, you know, we are... you Even debuffing him to this extent... I mean, you very clearly are still going to need some good um, RNG with his super attack placements, right? I mean, because he just hits so hard, and he's just erratically going to be able to super attack everywhere. But, oh, I mean, that man, that was good. That was a nice, clean run right there. That was pretty good. Um, I do like uh, characters who fail me repeatedly, who I then have to put on fraud alert. I love when they redeem themselves. Super Trunks dominated Red Zone Zamasu. The Coolers shit on Vegito Blue. I loved this. This was very good. And Baby, man, I, I mean, a lot of us saw that EZA details for Baby, and we said, hold up. They cooked. Baby is good. But I saw a lot of people saying, he's mid. No, he ain't mid. Baby is good. Baby is a good EZA. He's solid. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you all next time.